Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today's lesson is about differentiation. Okay, let us begin our lesson with the concept of limits. Okay, the concept of limit goes like this. Okay, this is um, LIM which stands for limit. And then you have x approaches a certain value, sometimes we call it m. And then this is your expression which is fx, the function of your equation that you need to find. So I'm gonna draw some box here, okay. Okay, the definition of this, okay, is the value, okay, the limit of fx is the value of x. The value of fx when x approaches Okay, for examples, okay, if you are given limit when x approaches 2 and you have x, 6x squared minus 3, so how you are supposed to solve this question? So the first thing first, okay, if you have no fraction in your question, you simply use substitution. So we just simply substitute the value of x, uh, which is equal to 2, into the equation. So you would have 6 bracket 2 squared minus 3. And then, okay, 6 times 4 is 24, minus 3, you get 21. So this is the final answer. Okay, second example, which is something similar to make you familiarize with the idea of limit. So if you want to find x approaches 4, and then you have 2x plus 1 squared. Okay, again, if you see there's no fraction and simply expression like this, there's no fraction and the value is there. So what you do, just simply substitute in the value of x into your equation. So you would have 2 times 4 and then plus 1 and then square. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1, 9, 9 square, 81. So this is the final answer. Okay, now I'm going to give you something okay, more difficult. It's not difficult, but you will see. Okay, the limit when x approaches 4 and you have x squared minus 16 in your numerator and you have x minus 4 as your denominator. So, for this kind of question, when you see fraction, um, you have to do some modification, modification to your expression here. Because if you simply substitute x equals to 4 here, you would have 4 minus 4, 0. So anything divided by 0 will give you infinity. We, we don't want to get infinity. So what we do is, when you see this kind of question, you factorize first. So as you can see from above, you can factorize x squared minus 16. Uh, if you have brackets, you put brackets on both sides. So you have x times x, you will get x squared. Okay, to get 16 is 4 times 4. Uh, because you got negative, so you just must have positive and negative. And then this whole thing divide by x minus 4. Now, can you see that these two, they are equal, so they can be cancelled off. And then you can substitute the value of 4 now. So now x equals to 4, so 4 plus 4 gives you 8. So this is the final answer. Okay, moving to the fourth example. If you have limit, when x approaches 1 and you have x squared plus 5x minus 6 and then the whole thing divided by x minus 1 okay again when you see fraction usually this term will have the same expression in above expression okay meaning to say when you factorize you would expect to get x minus 1 as well in your numerator okay now we try to factorize so you got x minus 1 down there as well so divide so to get x square, you have 2 times x times x, you get x square. Okay, to get 6, negative 6, you have 2 times positive 6. Okay, now we test. If you times x, 6 times x gives you 6x, and then you minus 5, 1x, it will give you 5x. So this, is, this factor, factorization works. So you can cancel these two, and then you substitute the value of x when x approaches 1. So you would have 1 plus 6, so the answer will be 7. Now I'm going to give you something, okay, okay. Example number 5, if you have limit, x approaches infinity and you have 2x plus 3 over x. Okay, before we proceed, I'm going to explain to you a side note of this. So, example, if you have 1, 
divide by 100 you would have 0.01 .01, am I right so if you have something which is very huge so the number would be like I don't know how many zeros so we're gonna write so many zeros here so imagine that this is the value of infinity but it is not so when you divide one divide by this number it will be like 0 0.0000000 we don't know how many zeros and then one at the end so when you have one divided by infinity which is something very huge so you tend to have zero because like i said before the greater this number is when you have one you want to give to so to so many people so in the end everyone is getting nothing so so we want to apply this concept into this infinity uh, question so what we do is because every question can be simplified so every fraction can be simplified when you simplify okay example if you have two over four you can divide by two here divide by two here so you can simplify the expression so the same thing we're going to apply here so you have to divide by x to simplify so we have 2x divided by x and then 3 over x and then x over x okay similar to what we have here when you have 2 divided by 2 and then you have 4 divided by 2 you simplify you got 1 over 2 so same thing here we are going to use the same concept as um, simplify we're going to simplify so when 2x divided by x it becomes 2 and then 3 over x still 3 over x and then x over x gives you 1 okay looking back we have okay now when you have 1 divided by infinity now now x tends to infinity so you have 3 over infinity so this number will be 0 like i said before so you would have 2 plus 0 over 1 which gives you 2 so the answer will be 2 easy so question example number six get okay, the last example so you have limit when x approaches infinity as well and you have negative nine minus x square over x square okay if you have x then you divide by x so now you have x square so every every term should be divided by x square so you have negative nine over x square minus x square over x square over x square over x square so we simplify this fraction so when you simplify you would have negative 9 over x square still the same thing so negative x square over x square will give you 1 and then this also will give you 1 so looking at this concept when you have something divided by infinity which is something very huge this number tends to be 0 so th this number tends to 0 so you have negative 1 over 1 so the answer will be negative 1 so this is the final answer so to understand everything in this uh, concept so when you see number without any fraction just simply substitute in the values so the first two example very easy when you have fraction but this is not infinity look at example number three number four number four and one they're not infinity so what we do we factorize and we cancel off and then we substitute in so when you have infinity in both examples so we have to simplify the fraction by dividing by the corresponding uh, variable if you have x then you divide by x if you have x square then you divide by x square so when you divide by x you simplify and then using this concept when you have something divided by a very huge number it tends to zero so uh, the expression so some of the expression will be will be zero so now you can see that the value will be two so uh, you can see now, even though this answer, this question is about infinity, so the answer is not infinity. The answer must be in integers or something. So it must be in numbers. It cannot be infinity. So I'm going to give you questions. So can you copy all this thing in your notes? Uh, you can pause at every um, thing that I wrote on the on this uh, book, and then later I'll give you the exercise. All right. See you in the class.